Welcome back to the channel everyone. As the title says in today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys increase your FPS or frames per second in Fortnite. It's been a bit since my last tips video, so I decided that I would show you guys these tricks. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so starting off with your in-game Fortnite settings, make sure to have your full screen mode selected. Um, full screen mode literally says in the description that the game will run faster with this selected, so don't make the mistake of selecting windowed mode or even windowed full screen. Um, so yeah, just make sure you have that selected and apply. Next we have resolution. Uh, I play on the native resolution 1920 by 1080. If your computer struggles with running Fortnite, I recommend either uh, selecting 1600 by 900 or just looking up a video on how to get stretch res because technically 1920 by 1080 is the greatest amount of pixels that a 1080p monitor, which is probably the monitor that you guys have, can show. Resulting in your computer working harder just for better quality, which is not what you want in this game. If you change your resolution uh, lower than native, your game will look blurrier so if you're willing to sacrifice that quality for performance then go ahead and change it i just have 1080p selected because as a content creator you want your games to look as good as possible so all right frame rate limit i would just set to your monitor's refresh rate and the only time that uh, i would set it lower or higher than your refresh rate is if your computer is not able to keep those stable frames at your refresh rate or if your computer is able to keep a stable frame rate high even higher than your refresh rates my computer is medium end so i chose the frame rate that matches my refresh rate all right now down to graphic settings if you don't already have these settings or at least close to them then you're going to need to copy these settings and you'll really be amazed at the increase in fps um, I have all my graphics settings on low, off, or near, and I recommend that if you really need an FPS boost, definitely consider turning up or down the 3D rendering uh, setting. For advanced settings, make sure that you don't have VSync on because you'll have a lot of input delay and FPS decrease just so that your screen doesn't have any tearing, which is just not worth it to me at least, uh, so just trust me on that one. Uh, make sure that motion blur is off because it will also decrease your FPS in game. For me and most other people, DirectX 11 gives me better and more consistent frames, but some people, especially with higher end PCs, prefer DirectX 12. So just test them both out and see which one you prefer. Also, make sure that you have multiple cores in your PC. And if you do, then make sure to turn on multi-threaded rendering. Lastly, turn off GPU crash debugging, because this will increase your FPS and yeah. In the next tab, scroll down to the bottom where it says replays and disable all of them. The only reason that you would have these on is if you really need to record something in game and go into replay mode and record that. Um, but this really slows down your game a lot, and even for content creators, I still don't recommend it. Okay guys, so once you're done with that, right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. Once it pops up, go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview, and select uh, Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. Once you're done with that, click Take Me There. I recommend that you guys copy my settings uh, if you want the best FPS in your game. Uh, most of these settings will make your game run better because it decreases the visual quality of your game. So I'm going to scroll through it right now and if you want to do that, then copy. Alright, now we're going to clean up your PC to improve the performance of Fortnite. So now we're going to make sure that there is no unnecessary programs that are running in the background. So to do this, go to your system tray and close out any of the programs that you aren't currently using. You can start these programs later if you realize that you don't need it. So now we're going to go to the task manager and to do this, press control, shift and escape at the same time. Or you can just click the bottom of your screen and go to task manager. In the task manager, make sure that you're ending all the tasks that are running in the background that you don't currently need. These processes slow down your game more than you think. Next, go to the startup tab. 
and disable every task that you don't want to start every time you run your computer. Now it's time to disable your Xbox game bar. To do this, start by clicking on the bottom left and going into your settings. Click on the gaming tab and disable the Xbox game bar. Then go down to game mode and make sure the game mode is on. The game mode will optimize your PC to make sure that you get as high and stable frames as possible. For even more optimization to your PC to increase FPS, search up this PC. Right click and click on properties. Go to advanced system settings and under performance, select settings and untick all of these boxes. As you can see, I keep the smooth edges of screen fonts on because I just really can't stand the way that letters look when I'm in my browser, doing schoolwork, watching YouTube, etc. Now that we have that done, go to your control panel in your search bar. And go to hardware and sound. Go to power options. For the greatest boost in FPS, select the high performance plan. This will make your PC focus on giving you the best experience it can instead of saving power in your PC. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but as far as I know, turning on the power saver option is completely pointless and I'm pretty sure your PC will have enough power regardless of what uh, power plan you choose. Apparently recently, disabling full screen optimizations in Fortnite has led people to experience higher FPS. So to do this, press the Windows key and R at the same time then search percent program files percent as you can see my epic games doesn't lead to my fortnite so if you have the same problem as me go back to this pc and go to your other drive and you'll be able to find it once you find it select fortnite game then binaries then 164 then scroll down until you see fortnite client win 64 shipping Right click on it, click on properties, go to compatibility, and disable full screen optimizations, tick that, apply, and you're done. If you don't like how it takes a little bit longer to tap in and out of Fortnite, then follow the same steps, but just uncheck it again. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Most of these tips are useful for every game, not just Fortnite. Let me know down in the comments how much FPS this tutorial actually increased your game by, and don't lie. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.